On the 6th of March, SpaceX posted on X announcing the planned launch date of Starship, along with a link to the updated flight plan. Today, we'll be analysing each event one by one so you'll know exactly what to expect. My name is Jeff A, and welcome to this special episode from RGV Aerial Photography. Starship Flight Test 3 is currently scheduled to launch in the early morning of March 14th, 2024, around 7am local time. S-28 and Booster 10 will lift off from Orbital Pad A at the Starbase Launch Complex in Southern Texas. The vehicle will then ascend for two minutes before demonstrating a staging technique known as hot staging, where the upper stage engines light before the booster engines have shut down. This was successfully demonstrated on Starship's Flight Test 2 back in November. However, due to an unaccounted load force from the propellant sloshing in the tanks, pieces of foreign debris in the fuel tank caused the rapid failure of multiple engines, which resulted in the destruction of Booster 9. On Flight 2, you will notice the time taken between the separation event and boost back burn ignition was a mere 4 seconds. On Flight 3, however, we are expecting around 11 seconds of delay between these two events, to allow the vehicle to flip around in a more controlled manner. The Starship upper stage will continue burning until T plus 8 minutes and 35 seconds into a suborbital trajectory. But unlike the previous two flight tests, the vehicle is not expected to travel all the way to Hawaii. On this flight, Starship will fly straight towards the Indian Ocean, completing only half a revolution of the planet. Back on Earth, the booster is expected to come down around 20 kilometers offshore from the launch pad and perform a yet-to-be-revealed landing maneuver, assuming the vehicle even gets that far. Scenario 1 is the booster lands on the water conventionally, like we have seen with early Falcon 9 landing tests. In the second scenario, booster 10 descends but then performs a landing burn, placing it into a hover above the surface of the sea, simulating a catch with a tower. It will then shut its engines down and topple gracefully into the sea. Booster 10 is not planned to be recovered, no matter the condition it is in after landing. Meanwhile in space, S-28 will open its Starlink payload door 11 minutes and 56 seconds after liftoff. As far as we know, there is no payload inside for this flight, although we can expect Starlinks to fly on Starship by the end of the year, according to Elon Musk. At T plus 24 minutes and 31 seconds, a first-of-its-kind propellant transfer demonstration will be performed. For this test, SpaceX will transfer 10 tonnes of liquid oxygen from the header tank that's up in the nose cone to the main liquid oxygen tank at the base of the vehicle. Usually the header tanks are used to store fuel for the ship's landing burn back on Earth, however this flight is not expected to perform a powered landing. At T plus 40 minutes and 46 seconds into flight, SpaceX will conduct the first in-flight relight of a Raptor engine. This single engine burn will only last a few short seconds as to not affect the location of Starship's re-entry corridor. In the event that this burn does not go to plan, the vehicle will still not go anywhere near human populations. To attempt re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, Starship would transition into its signature belly flop position and slow its descent to the surface. However, Starship will not be attempting landing on this flight. The Starship upper stage has a terminal velocity of approximately 80 meters per second. As a reminder, terminal velocity is the fastest speed an object can fall in an atmosphere, based on the vehicle's mass and shape due to atmospheric drag. Because Starship is not attempting landing, it will plummet into the sea at 80 meters per second, thus ending the flight. This test flight will be considered a major success as SpaceX can pull off any of these objectives. The primary goal is to reach orbital velocity and to successfully demonstrate propellant transfer between vehicle tanks. So, excitement is definitely guaranteed, and Godspeed SpaceX!